So in this video, we're going to be looking at finding vector equations of planes that pass through three coordinates. So we're going to go through two examples here. So the first one, we've got A, B, and C. So what you want to do is you want to decide, OK, uh, let's let A be the position vector. OK, so we're going to start off with R is equal to 2, 1, minus 1. So that gets me onto the plane, OK? I then want two non-parallel vectors, one that will multiply with lambda, one that will multiply with mu. Okay? So this first one here I could have as AB and the other one AC. Okay? Now um, you might be thinking, okay, well what if ABC are collinear? Okay? If they were collinear, then I would have a big problem, okay? Uh, because that would mean that these two um, vectors would be parallel to one another, and so this isn't going to work, okay? All I would be able to do is find the equation of that line. Uh, so we're just going to assume in this video that these three are non, are not collinear. These three are not collinear, okay? Um, and because I just came up with the numbers off the top of my head, the likelihood that they are is very slim indeed. Okay, so <laughs> let's, uh, first of all, first direction vector, AB. So AB is going to be equal to OB083, take away OA, 2, 1, minus 1. So 0 take away 2 is minus 2, 8 take away 1 is 7, 3 take away minus 1 is 4. So minus 2, 7, 4 is the first direction vector. And then I'll find AC. So AC is OC5 minus 2 minus 5, take away OA which is 2, 1, minus 1. 5 take away 2 is 3, minus 2 take away 1 is minus 3, minus 5 take away minus 1 is minus 4. So 3 minus 3 minus 4 is the second direction vector, and that is my vector equation of the plane going through those three points. Okay? So that's the first one. So the second one, find a vector equation of the plane passing through P, Q, and R. So the first thing that I would do is I just need to find, uh, well, choose one position vector. So let's choose P, minus 8, 9, 2. And then I'm going to have lambda times one direction vector plus mu times another direction vector. So um, let's use P, Q as one of the direction vectors. So that's Q, 3 minus 7, 4, take away OP, minus 8, 9, 2. So 3 take away minus 8 is 11, minus 7 take away 9 is minus 16, and 4 take away 2 is 2. So 11 minus 16, 2 is our first direction vector, and I'll use PR, as the second direction vector. So that's OR990 take away minus 892. So 9 take away minus 8 is 17. 9 take away 9 is 0. 0 take away 2 is minus 2. So 17, 0, minus 2. Okay? And so that is how we can find the vector equation of the plane going through P, Q, and R.